And over to Carol. Carol Elliott um, has a, is going to lead us through um, a lesson today. Over to you, Carol. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you, Tiffany. Thank you for your leadership. We do appreciate it. Um, okay, we're going to do Calm Stable today. And I learned this uh, probably 20, 25 years ago. We had uh, a Qigong master who was doing research work up at UCSD. And he was married, and his uh, wife's father came over, and he taught our Qigong class for several years. And this was one of the things that he taught us, was this calm, calm stable Qigong. And it was good for high blood pressure, it was good for anxiety, and for um, insomnia. So uh, we'll go through the little routine, it's very easy. It should take about seven minutes. And uh, we'll just start by brushing our hair. It should feel like a bristle uh, hairbrush. You start at the front of your hairline and go to the back of your occiput, the base of your skull. And we'll do this 36 times. So I think I'm down to six, seven, eight, nine. This is a calming exercise that we often do when our checkbook doesn't add up. <laughs> Seventeen. You can do this faster if you want. But this is what my body wants to do today. And so I'm always trying to respect it. If it wants to go slow, I try to honor that. And if it needs to go a little faster, I try to honor that. And mostly I just lose count. So shortly I'll stop. One more. Okay. So next, I'm gonna take my hands and cover my ears, and I'm gonna smash my hands against my ears. So if you have an ear infection or something, be careful how you do this. Uh, press your ears, and then tap on the back of your head. And we're gonna do it three times. And then pop our ears like that, and that's gonna create suction in your ear. This is something that not, is not only calming, but it will prevent you from having glue ear. So if you have a sinus congestion or your ears are full of fluid, that fluid can stick to your eardrum and it can uh, stop your eardrum from vibrating. So if you take your hands every day and pop your ears, it will pull your eardrum away from your, the mucus that might be collecting in your ear and your hearing will remain much better. So tap, 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 pop. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, I'm gonna take my right hand, I'm gonna tap 10 times from right to left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. Okay, then I'm going to take my left hand and I'm going to tap 20 times from left to right. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going right across from my spleen to my liver, so just under my bra. I'm guessing 11 because I can't count with the hoot and talk at the same time. So, that thing's overrated. 15, <laughs> 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, other hand, I'm going back with my right hand and I'm going to rub from right to left 10 times. Maybe 10. Okay, and then I'm going to rub with my left hand from left to right. 20 times, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 14, 14, I'm starting to get sleepy. 15, <laughs> 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, ah, okay. 
Then I'm going to take my hands like this and I am going to turn them so that my thumbs are in front and my fingers are in back. And I'm going to get up by my armpits, if you can, and push down towards the, my hip bone. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm not tired. Eight, <laughs> oh, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Susceptible su to suggestion. Sixteen, mm -hmm. seventeen. 18, 19, oh, 20. Okay, other hand. I'm going to take my right hand. I'm going to go across my sternum. One, one and a half. Two, two and a half. Three, three and a half. Four, four and a half. Five, five and a half. Six, six and a half. Seven, seven and a half. Eight, eight and a half. Nine, nine and a half. 10, yeah. and a half, mm -hmm. 11, 11 and a half, 12, 12 and a half, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Now this one has got three parts to it. So this is our basic twisting exercise. In the beginning of it, you turn, and you tap high on your shoulder up here. And then you drop your hands so that your hands fall down. And then you turn and tap high. And you're going to tap high in your back. So dropping the hands. We're going to do this 18 times. So one, one and a half, two, two and a half, three, three and a half. Four, four and a half, five, five and a half, six, six and a half, seven, seven and a half. This is boring. Eight, eight and a half, nine, nine and a half, ten, ten and a half. So now you're like, I know how to do this. Eleven, eleven and a half, twelve, twelve and a half, thirteen. 13 and a half. Right now you're thinking, maybe I'll skip this part because I know this. 16, 17, 18, 19. Oh, that's good enough. 18 was good. Okay. The next one I'm going to tap. So I'm going to drop my hands each time. I'm going to tap on my shoulder, right where we always do, and a little bit lower in my back, so on top of my kidneys. So I'm going to drop my hands. Two. Two and a half, three, half, four. I'm dropping my hands each time. Five and a half, six, six and a half, seven, seven and a half, eight, eight and a half. Right now you're saying, oh, please don't do any more of these. I'm tired of these. That's the point. Then maybe ten and a half. 11, 11 and a half, 12, 12 and a half, 13, 13 and a half, 15, 15 and a half, 16, 16 and a half, 17, 17 and a half, 18, this is good enough. All right, we'll stop right there. The next, next little group, we're going to do one more set, and this one is low and light. So I'm going to tap on my dantian and on my lower back down uh around l l4 l3 l4 somewhere in there and i'm gonna tap like a badminton like hitting a badminton birdie it's going to be low and light and kind of springy i'm gonna drop my hands one two three four five six seven Oh, this is hopeless. Eight and a half. Nine and a half. <laughs> I can't do it. I'm just going to tap some. Wow. Please notice after all these years of Qigong practice, 
<laughs> that I don't take myself seriously anymore. I've just given up. <laughs> 18. 18. Okay, that's good enough. All right. Now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our thumb. I'm gonna take my thumb and I'm gonna press in my armpit. So I'm gonna get up here and I'm gonna press fairly fir firmly. If you press toward the back of your armpit with your thumb, you may find tingling in your small finger. <laughs> this is the heart meridian and it starts up here in your armpit and runs down to your small finger. So we're gonna press it firmly 10 times. And I'm gonna go to the other armpit and, and uh, the father-in-law who uh, worked on us, he was uh, very thorough in his massage and he came around and stuck his thumb in everyone's armpit so that we would all know exactly what he was doing. And it was, it was fairly firm. That's probably good enough. Okay, next I'm going to rub on my wrist. So I've got my wrist here, I'm going to circle it and uh, we're heading towards heart seven here, which is at the end of this tendon here on the side of your arm, below my small finger. But we have like a, a group of points here called this, the, uh, our tranquility points. So one of them is lung nine, which is a point for fear of death. And it is also the influential point for blood vessels. And then we have pericardium six, which is the point that we use for uh, nausea and uh, anxiety. Uh, and so women are going to take their hands and rub uh, uh, counterclockwise 10 times. And you want to rub it in such a way that it feels like uh, the satin on your blanket or uh, something really smooth and silky. Uh, I'm perspiring a bit, which is unusual for San Diego. And so my arm is sticking and my thumb is bumping, but theoretically it should feel like talcum powder. So then I went counterclockwise 10. So women it's clockwise 10, counterclockwise 10, and then clockwise again. Good enough. And now we'll go clockwise. Men go the opposite directions. So they start counterclockwise, then go clockwise, eight, nine, 10. Okay, so that's the wrist. And the next step is we're going to take our middle finger. This is the one that goes out the window when we have a problem in traffic. And we're gonna take our thumbnail and press firmly on the tips of the middle finger. Uh, uh, and you may want to press enough that you leave a slight nail print on the end of your finger. So this is a fairly strong sedation. We're sedating our pericardium meridian and uh, it's bad moods. So calming that down, we're gonna do that 10 times. And then the last step is to take your foot and to rub it briskly. So if this was my foot, I would take it and we're working on kidney one and kidney one is below uh, the toes in that hollow in the front part of your foot, where if you stand on your toes, uh, like in a high heel, you would be standing on um, kidney one. It's called the orbital spring. It's a grounding point. And we're going to rub back and forth like this briskly over the bottom of the foot. And while you do this, theoretically, you could be in your pajamas and you would be yawning vigorously. And you do that on the bottom of each foot 50 times. And that should help if you do this regularly, it will set up a pattern in yourself so that when you do this, you will, you will just fall over and go to sleep. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you, Tiffany. Good to see you, Walter. Thanks, Carol. Do you, would you be doing both hands or both this part and this part or just one no, side? No, you do both sides. Both sides. Yeah. Both feet, both hands. And then the thumbnail goes into the, the, the middle finger. Yep, tip of the middle finger. Great. All right, well, yeah, I started uh, yawning a little too there. Yes, it's contagious, you know, so if you see somebody else yawn, then you start yawning. But if you yawn in front of yourself, you're listening. So you can, you can yawn in front of yourself and cause that to happen. And then you really start yawning. Okay, enjoy.
Great. Well, that was really great, Carol. Thank you so much. Uh, I think that was that that uh, was a great way to wrap up the class. So I think we can we can yeah. start there. Great.